Wow, 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 wow. Oh, la, la. Wow, wow, wow. King in the castle, king in the castle. Hey guys, so just for fun, I wanted to create this video showcasing my teapot, also known as my retirement home, uh, with soon to be populated with my favorite waifu characters from this game. Um, originally, I had a floating island realm as my first choice, um, but over time, I eventually began to regret my decision and became more eager to swap over to Emerald Peak once I hit Trust Rank 8. Now that I'm Trust Rank 8 and I've finally shifted over to Emerald Peak, I'm just so happy about it and literally um, the floating island realm, in my opinion, is quite boring to look at. Um, simply because all you really have is a floating island and a big sun to look at as you unlock more of the areas um, You only really just get closer to the sun and not necessarily much of a difference However, what I really liked about that realm is that you can push things off the cliff if you're waiting for resin <laughs> um, That said uh, So anyways um, back to it, what I've done in the first area is I've set up my retirement home pavilion. I didn't want it to surround the house with uh, just basically infrastructure or courtyard walls. Uh, I wanted to kind of make a blend with nature. So you can see the walling is basically landforms with added trees uh, to hide the landforms a bit. Uh, because usually, in my opinion, the landforms are just very awkward on its own. So I tried to blend it in uh, with a few trees here and there. Um, up the top is the secret tea area, surrounded by beautiful leeway foliage. So you can totally feel immersed with the environment while also taking in the magnificent view of Emerald Peak. Uh, it is also quite beautiful at night where we have this warm ambient lighting. Let's move on to the interior. I decided to create a library mainly for Mona and Lisa for 1.6. Um, I was inspired by Sword Art Online Alization of Carnival's Grand Library and I wanted to create something similar to that in my teapot mansion. The upper floor is only accessible through Venti and Zhongli. Uh, you will need them in order to get up to the upper floor. And on that floor um, provides a nice overview of the entire library. Um, moving on to the next rooms, uh, we have the hot pot section and a living room space. Uh, nothing much I can really explain about these two things here. Um, the other rooms across, uh, that is kind of blocked off. That's the Bitcoin room, so I won't go there. On the other side though, is the reception desk. And for this room, uh, I have not decided what to really do with it. Right now, it looks a bit dodgy with the one chair and candle chandelier in the center of the room. Um, perhaps this is where I will store all the waifu characters in. <laughs> yeah, boy. Anyways, uh, let's go back out to the exterior now and let's move on to area two. So, which is these small towns across uh, this bridge. Um, because in Emerald Peak, the spaces are split into two lots, um, providing a smaller space while also sharing the same load count. Um, I decided to not build another gigantic leeway pavilion again here and went with a small town square setup. Um, at night, the small town glows beautifully from a distance. It also feels quite comforting even at close. While also being able to enjoy the scenic view of the mansion and Emerald Peak Waterfall. As we go higher to uh, Area 3, we see a tall leeway palace. Uh, from a distance, it does look quite nice, almost something like from Spirited Away, but up close, it is quite underwhelming. Um, still planning on what to do 
what I should really do in this area. Um, I really like how it is close to the waterfall, so potentially I might just destroy all of this and make it into a garden. Um, but yeah, if you guys got any ideas, feel free to let me know. Um, for area 3, this is still a work in progress, and for area 4, which will be a long time for me to get there, uh, will most likely be another big leeway palace set up. Um, but that's all from my retirement teapot home. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video or gained some ideas uh, from this video to use in your teapot design. Uh, thanks.